Have you ever felt an overwhelming sense of unease, as if there's a void just beneath the surface of your day-to-day -day life? Maybe you've asked questions like, what is my purpose? Or, why am I here at all? These questions can strike us at unexpected moments, shaking the foundation of what we think we know about ourselves and the world. This is the start of an existential crisis, a state of intense self-reflection where we question the meaning of life, our place in it, and sometimes even the worth of our own existence. While it can feel unsettling, grappling with these questions can open us up to personal growth and transformation in ways we might not expect. Existential crises are often painted in a negative light. We tend to associate them with feelings of isolation, hopelessness, or anxiety. But what if we saw this as an opportunity? What if we could use this moment not as a reason to retreat into despair, but as a doorway to deeper self-understanding and lasting personal growth? An existential crisis forces us to pause and re-evaluate our beliefs, habits, and assumptions. It asks us to look beyond the day-to-day -day routines, goals, and labels that usually define us. It challenges us to think about what truly brings us joy and meaning, apart from any external accomplishments or approval. This is a moment to reflect on what we value most deeply, even if it's uncomfortable to confront. One of the most important steps in navigating an existential crisis is learning to sit with discomfort rather than running from it. Often, our first reaction is to distract ourselves, to turn to work, social media, or any form of escapism that helps numb these challenging feelings. But what if, instead, we just allowed ourselves to feel? What if we simply acknowledged that feeling lost or uncertain is natural, and that we don't need to fix it right away? When we do this, we give ourselves permission to explore these questions without judgment, allowing our minds and hearts the space they need to uncover insights. This space helps us move from a place of existential anxiety to existential curiosity, where we can question without needing immediate answers. The next step is to start redefining your values and beliefs, not according to what others think you should value, but based on what truly resonates with you. Ask yourself, what brings me genuine joy? What values do I feel align with who I am, not just with the roles I play in life? What type of legacy would I like to leave behind, however big or small? When we take time to redefine our values, we start building a new foundation for our lives, one that feels more grounded and authentic. Instead of defining success by societal standards, like wealth or popularity, we begin to recognize it through our own lens, whether that's through creative expression, relationships, learning, or contributing to a cause we believe in. Existential crises also give us a chance to make peace with uncertainty. Many of us believe we need to have every part of our lives mapped out. But what if uncertainty could be a source of freedom rather than fear? Life is always going to be unpredictable, and rather than letting that reality hold us back, we can embrace it. When we accept that not every question has an answer and not every challenge has a solution, we free ourselves to live with more openness. This shift allows us to see life as a journey where meaning is something we create, not something we find. Meaning can be woven into our everyday experiences, in our relationships, in moments of creativity, or even in small acts of kindness. As you move through this process, remember that it's okay to ask for support. An existential crisis can feel isolating, but you don't have to go through it alone. Talking to a therapist, mentor, or even friends who are open to deep conversations can be incredibly helpful. Sometimes, just knowing that others have felt these same questions, that they've doubted, struggled, and found new ways of seeing, can be the support you need to keep going. An existential crisis isn't something to be feared or avoided. It's a calling, a chance to break through old patterns and outdated beliefs that no longer serve us. It's a reminder that, in our search for answers, we're also defining who we want to become. And ultimately, by moving through the discomfort, embracing uncertainty, and redefining what truly matters, we not only come out the other side with a deeper sense of purpose, we emerge more resilient, more aligned, and more at peace with who we are.